Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling God Smith that you guys are watching on Wrestling. Uh, this video, guys, I know it's kind of quick. I know it's kind of quick for the NXT, but I'm just like, you know what? I might as well just tell you what I feel, right? Because like I said, I'm not okay. This NXT tonight is it's, it's mega. It's like, I, I like it, but it's mega boring. I'm like, dude. And not even like, and this is the thing. The... the I already know that the Mandy Rose promo, her winning the the, tel the celebration, it's not really a celebration. Because I'm pretty sure, and I know this, because Dakota Kai is going to come out. She's going to attack her at some point, or basically want to face at another takeover in the next month or so. So, pretty much, we're in the same pocket, because they've been trying to put this, and the thing is, Toxic Attraction is now the top division, the top faction in the women's division right now, because they got three of the women's title belts, and I'm like, bro, for the only thing is, they actually let them win clean, except for Mandy Rose's match, that was it, because if she, if, if, if Raquel Gonzalez didn't get hit in the back with the shovel, she would have won, she would have retained, Mandy would have had to go back to the line, she wouldn't have celebrated, Raquel would have celebrated, and this is the thing, I know we're going to get another Joe Gacy promo. I know we're going to have another Duke Hudson like, card thing because they don't know what to do with Duke Hudson. I know for a fact they're going to have another Johnny Gargano, Dexter Loomis tag match with Trick Williams and, and, Car and, and Carmelo Hayes, which I don't mind. But I really want Carmelo to lose that in NXT North American title, not the A Championship because it doesn't sound right. And I'm like, bro, to a sense, this dude shouldn't even have that belt. But that's my only problem with it because I'm like, yo, to a sense... Halloween Havoc, like I said, Halloween Havoc just proved to me that literally they're not doing anything with this NXT 2.0 because I'm like, bro, nobody really won. It wasn't really a, like a shocking pay-per-view. Nobody really won. Braun Breaker didn't even win, and they put all their hopes in the dude. And now everybody's like, well, what's next for Braun Breaker? I'll tell you what's next. He's going to be a joke. He's going to be a jobber. He's going to be like Cash Zono. He's going to be like L.A. Knight, the dude that wins a couple of matches and loses every big match. That's it. Because they don't know what to do with Cameron Grimes. What do they do? They put him in a poker situation. Frankie Monet, I don't even know what they're doing with her. And I'm pretty sure she's going to probably get um that the, 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 um, the guy, um the new dude. Not not the the Uso brother, the other guy, to join on um, the Robert Stone brand. Because I think that's why Robert Stone wants to call him out. And I already know for a fact he's not gonna take it. I'm being honest with you guys. This NXT is gonna bomb, bro. It's gonna be like a D, it's gonna be like a C plus because I'm like, yo, they're not even trying to make Frankie Monet anything. And I'm like, she's good, but you y'all basically jobbed her out for like a month, like two months. You jobbed her out. And I'm like, dude, for the money you guys want us, like, the money you're putting into these dudes is not even worth it. And I'm being nice about this, but I'm like, yo, and I'm looking, I'm even seeing it as I'm looking at it. Because I'm like, dude, with all the money they dump into this, this brand, it's literally a joke. It's like a Seinfeld episode, but just without the funny because I'm like, bro, that's what's going to end up being. That's what's going to happen. Because, I mean, I like Von Wagner. And I like Von Wagner, though. I like that Von Wagner and Kyle O'Reilly are going after Legato Real Fantasma. Because they need to go after him. Instead of instead of them being a total, like, a washout team, which they're going to be. Sorry. Like I said, they're going to be. Because the thing is, here's the problem. Von Wagner and Kyle O'Reilly are great. And I think they should have did something with him a while ago with the tag team situation. Because Bobby is in AEW. He's over there. Adam Cole's over there. And this is the problem. Like, bro. Yeah, it's like a, and this is the thing about NXT that I'm getting kind of tired of. The 2.0 moniker is not sticking. It's not. Because I'm like, bro, no matter how much hype you give as a commentator, and I'm like, yo, everybody believes that Mandy Rose and, and jo Gigi Dolan and her other dude and her friend are freaking the future. No. Maybe when Raquel gets pulled up, yes, she'll be the future NXT champion, but not now. Because I'm like, bro, that's like giving somebody who really didn't even need the NXT title in the first place. It's like giving Dana Brooke the NXT title. She doesn't need it. They don't know what they want to do. And I'm being perfectly honest, guys. I'd rather 
watch AEW. Because I'm like, bro, the women's division on NXT is so stacked right now. They don't need Mandy Rose. I don't even understand the sense. Why would you come back after? Like, why would you come back after the redesign? Why? Otis isn't even doing as well on SmackDown because he keeps winning, but he's not getting nothing from it. Him and Chad Gable are pretty much going to be broken up because if Chad Gable leaves, because I'm pretty sure Chad Gable wants to go. Because I'm like, Wrestling Observer, I don't see the point of this. They keep trying to make a team or make a, a heel faction. You can't just make a heel faction and come together. Just like they put freaking Zoe Stocks and Io Shirai. It wasn't going to work out. Because she's already been decorated. I'm like, bro, Zoe, you could have had a main roster. You could have had a title if you developed a little bit more. No, they made her too green. They made her try to get warmed up to EO like they're going to be. It's going to be natural. It's not going to be a natural women's tag team. I'm like, bro, it only took you out, what, five weeks to get the titles? Ronda Rousey was great because I'm like, bro, there's nothing different with y'all. The only difference is that Rhea and freaking Bianca Belair are pretty much the standard blueprint. Because, like, pretty much, without Sasha Banks, she's not doing nothing with Sasha. I don't even know why she's even on SmackDown. Because, like, Charlotte doesn't even need to be SmackDown Women's Champion. She's already been decorated enough. I'd rather have Shanti be Women's Champion or somebody that actually is a new face. And I'm being perfectly honest because I'm like, yo, what's going to end up happening for NXT 2.0 for the next point on? And I'm being honest with you guys that I'm past the dumbness. I'm past the funniness of NXT. I want NXT to be what it's supposed to be and not give me LA Knight, the same guy that they can't even seem to push no matter what they do with him. He's a total washout. Because like he's a total washout. And if he wasn't so good, if he wasn't bad, I'd be okay with that. He's a total washout. Because I'm like, between NXT not knowing what who Joe Gacy is, between they don't know what the gimmick this dude is, the NXT millennial. Because I'm like, what is the point with this guy? They don't even know what to do with him. It's always going to be this washing out type of thing where they're trying to give a big idea to this dude. And the magic to this whole situation, I would be okay with it. I would be fine if everything wasn't so wishy-washy of NXT. And this is what it, this is what it showed me tonight. In a matter of a day. And I'm like, bro. And this is what I've seen from two, three weeks ago. I'm like, bro. They don't know what they want to do with Joe Gacy. Because literally, Joe Gacy's an idiot. Joe Gacy has no future. Joe Gacy has nothing that they could possibly want with him. Because literally, he's an idiot. Because in my, in my nine, even in my lifetime, in my life, this dude hasn't become anything. He's a literal nut. He's a literal anything. And the problem is they're not going to do nothing with him. They're not going to do anything with him. Because I'm like, bro, you got a guy who's really rather decorated in his own way. Yeah, I could have beefed up Kyle O'Reilly for the NXT channel, but they want Tommaso to have it. They want Braun to have it. They want Carmelo to have it. They want all these new dudes to have it. But the problem is with the new generation of NXT, there's still some of the old generation to be there. So, in the sense of it, wouldn't you do this new generation of NXT when Aleister Black was there? And Adam Cole came, and he should have did it when Bobby Roode came, and when Bob, like when, when, when Hideo Itami left? When you had Ty Dillinger there, who was a fresh face, and they could have done something with Ty, but somehow the new era came in and put him on the darn... The, 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 the draft list. They weren't doing anything. And I'm just like in the back of my mind. NXT tonight is an utter joke. Because I'm like bro I don't see anything with them. 
I didn't see anything with them. AEW kind of gives me more. And this is the thing. For the first time in NXT, I felt bored. I felt bored. I don't usually feel bored with NXT. Last week, I felt kind of confused because of Joe Gacy. Even with the Halloween Havoc thing. And the, the week before Halloween Havoc, I felt confused with Joe Gacy. I still do. Because the magic of this whole situation, guys, is that they can't figure this guy out. They can't figure him out. He's like a box. He's like he's like a millennial without a brain. It's like you, you're giving a guy a gimmick that doesn't really suit him. And then you got like guys like Elias. You got guys like Gun. You got guys like Elias who aren't really doing well. You got guys like Drake Maverick who are just there for the blood for whatever the reason is. And then I'm thinking to myself, what are they doing with him? Because this is what this is what Wrestling Observer was telling you. WWE has the consistency of failure because the problem with the consistency of failure is that they can't do anything with this new talent. Because they're trying to make new talent instead of bringing people and letting them go a couple of rounds in the train or letting them go a couple of rounds in the breakout tournament, which would have been better. So he could have won a chance to get the NXT title and cash it in at any point in time. No, Carmelo got this lucky streak that he got the North American title. Swerve isn't coming back. So they're pretty much going to go to SmackDown and mess up SmackDown if they decide to do anything with them on SmackDown. Because I'm pretty sure they're not. And because Zia Lee's over there. But she's not really doing nothing over there. I haven't even seen a match with her. Because literally, she's probably a mid-carder at best. Because they're not doing nothing. And I'm just like in my head, the way they're trying to figure this whole thing out. Or the way they want to put the money on the pipe right now. I don't hate them for this. I don't hate them for wanting to try. But my problem with this whole entire NXT brand is the fact that every week for the past two weeks, for the past month or so, four weeks after Halloween Havoc, we literally have been getting the same crap with these people because for some reason, NXT's creative and Vince don't know what the hell they're doing because he really is out of touch. He's a guy that's been out of touch because nobody since 2011, since 2012, since 2013 and 14 and 15 and so on and so forth, he doesn't know what he, what people want in a WWE superstar. They don't know. Because these eras of wrestling, these eras that they're trying to create, is not an era. There is, the coin the phrase, there is no new era. This era is not even the reality era, and it should have been the reality era. Because for NXT, it was better for them. Because for some, whatever bloody reason, they can't even bring back Velveteen Green. They brought him back, then got him fired, then brought him back, then got him fired, and it's a budget cut thing. Really? It's a budget cut thing, but everybody like Tyler Breeze can have money and survive, and the New Day can survive, because they'll, they'll keep being relevant as long as they can be relevant. Because the thing is, they're their biggest commodity. And the problem with Vince's thing is that he wants to make these big guys the commodity like Big Show when he had them in the 90s. And the problem was, just like WCW with the Monday Night War thing, with because it, it was all WWE propaganda. He wasn't winning. Even when he had the invasion angle with all the WCW dudes, and even when he had them all, and had ECW, and had Rhino, and had Booker T, and had DDP, and had all these other cats in there, what did he do? He failed to get that right. So if they would have won, if the Alliance would have won, WCW would have existed again in some way. Because the problem with Nitro and the problem with Eric Bischoff and the problem with Ted Turner was the fact that they got Hulk Hogan. The guy was a little pro wrestling god in the 80s and 90s because of the little late 80s, early 90s. That's what it was. He wasn't doing anything. You had Macho Man that wasn't really doing anything with the Mega Powers thing because everybody was getting tired of his gimmick. We didn't quit on Hulkamania. We got tired of Hulkamania because, dude, all you were doing was the same thing, ripping your shirt off. Doing, trying to be a face of the kids. The kids were growing. We knew. Everybody wanted edgier things. That's why they did NWO because it was grounded. It was something that wasn't supposed to be, but it was. Because... 
this is the thing I'm saying when NXT 2.0, guys, is that I'm tired, guys. I want NXT to get better, and it's never going to get better because they have Toxic Attraction running the show now. Tommaso Ciampa is still NXT champion. He's probably never going to stop being an NXT champion until they, they bring him up. And I don't know why Triple H is not pulling the damn trigger. And it's like, yo, you should have pulled the trigger on this dude and him and Johnny Gargano. And I just feel like they're not pulling the trigger with him. I just don't know. And even in my head, I, like I said, I really feel like NXT 2.0 tonight is like basically a C plus or D because it's the segments. It just doesn't entertain me. I like MSK. I like Imperium. I like all these dudes that come in, but I'm like, bro, without them, the show wouldn't be as half as good. You don't need to have a championship celebration. You won the belt. Big whoop. I'm like, man, you could have been a heel. You just never wanted to be one. That's why Sonya Deville left and she basically became a freaking general manager because she can't, she doesn't know how to run the freaking brand. He still doesn't know how to run it. She thinks that SmackDown's going to win. Raw's going to beat them again somehow. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.